good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Uh, and thank you for logging in uh, from different parts of the world. So today we have this uh, very nice workshop uh, about virtual, it's a virtual workshop on 4D STEM. So we talk a little bit about theory acquisition and analysis. So before everything started, I would like to thank you, uh, everyone that helped uh, this to happen. So the organization here at uh, Northwestern Nuance and Shine uh, Catherine Dean, Chad, Giver, uh, and all, uh, Tara, Sadera, and uh, people from Gatan Amitax, uh, Anna, Jackie, and Parker. Uh, so uh, this is the program for today. So you probably have seen that already. Uh, but one, of, uh, one thing that I want to mention in the beginning is that if you do have questions, you have a Q&A panel uh, at the bottom of your screen. So you just type in the questions and you try to cover as much as we can during the sessions. So if you don't cover the questions uh, during the sessions, uh, Stephanie is taking notes and then we're gonna reach out to you uh, later. Uh, with that, I'm gonna give you, I guess, the desktop to uh, Professor Vinayak Dravid. Thank you, uh, Roberto. Uh, welcome everybody. I was very fascinated to see attendees from all over the world, and it's just a delight to uh, be part of this. I realize I was used to be on your side of the uh, screen, so to speak, so I know you're itching to start the program, but with such a captive audience, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention just a few things about what makes this event possible, and obviously this doesn't happen in vacuum, and uh, we have developed this concept of the Nuance Center for almost 20 years now. It's a regional resource has become a national uh, center of excellence through an NSF program. And initially when Noan started uh, with on the left-hand side, you see EPIC, that's an electron microscopy facility. So when I arrived here from Lehigh, I brought that concept and ideas uh, in that community of microscopy and characterization that followed by a very uh, upsurge in nanotechnology research in early 2000s, some of us may remember that led to the foundation of this CAKE Foundation supported CAKE 2 and SPEED is a scanning probe that uh, Rajendra Shekhawat runs uh, remarkably well for 20 years. CAKE 2 run by Sin Chi Chen, who's been with us also for a long time. And subsequently uh, with the arrival of John Rogers from Urbana, uh, Nuance also started to look after fabrication as a way to integrate fabrication characterization that's run by Nasir uh, and others. Uh, in the fabrication. Last but not the least, we've also recognized opportunities that the interface between soft and hard, and that's an area, as you will see a lot today, that is evolving. It's beyond this classical biology of looking at protein structures, for example, but looking at truly, uh, you know, food, uh, uh, pharmaceutical biomaterials, and sort of micro to micro scale uh, uh, soft material. And we've developed this bio cryo uh, facility as a way to cater to those needs that uh, Reiner uh, and someone others that you see here. And the whole uh, operation is integrated with an amazing administrative team. I can't say that enough. Uh, Chad Geezer is the leader. Uh, Katie, who's in charge of this event today, is an outreach coordinator. And we have a fantastic administrative staff who really makes this a seamless transition from uh, event to actual execution. So we go to the, this uh, nuance also, as I should tell, um, given the presence of number of uh, dignitaries in our region, we integrate, uh, coordinate with Argonne National Lab, Urbana, and all of the regional capabilities, U Chicago on the top right, you see a lot of the institutions uh, which are regionally located. And uh, the next slide uh, <clears throat> tells you uh, how we have come over the years. Uh, what used to be a small facility with a handful of my own student, now it's ballooned up to almost 54 major instruments uh, across uh, pretty much every characterization technique one can think of. Uh, we have all, more than 1,000 users that you can see and, and many faculty in the affiliated department. So in 20 years, I think we have come a long way and this event that you see today is a culmination of uh, many activities over the years. The next slide, Roberto. And so uh, what was a regional and local resource over the years have groomed into a, a potential for national leadership. And just a few years ago, uh, we put together a proposal uh, to uh, 
to develop a shine, which is a soft and hybrid nanotechnology experimental resource. It's a facility consortium uh, and the project team that you see uh, is uh, uh, Sosina Hailey, my colleague from MSC department. Chad Merkin, as you know, uh, he runs IIN and he's part of multiple uh, institutions at Northwestern in the region. Jian Chow is a great champion uh, from engineering uh, and Andrew Cleland, uh, as you know him uh, on quantum sensing is just a world-class researcher, an amazing collaborator from U Chicago. Uh, so I'm very delighted to introduce this team as a part of Shine Resource, that's our NSF center. And the next uh, slide, uh, it gives you exactly what Shine is. As you can see, the lead institution under Shine is Nuance Center that's organizing this event today. But we have other six other cons, you know, facilities that you see, ranging for Sam Stoops, uh, Simpson Query Institute, uh, that uh, John Rogers is also part of, to IMSERC, which are molecular nanotechnology facility, uh, which actually uh, received considerable upswing with uh, Fraser Stoddard Nobel Prize uh, just a few years ago. And then we have fabrication, other niche capabilities, such as atom probe tomography that David Seidman runs. And he's just an amazing capability uh, looking at atomic scale uh, structures, composition combined with uh, focus ions in terms of preparation. As you can see on the right hand side, uh, we represent over almost $75 million of tool, thousands of space and number of staff. And this event that uh, we are organizing today would be the next slide. It's part of our outreach uh, uh, to community. And it's a busy slide. I just want to emphasize two points and I'll let the, the, uh, the program move forward. So this event is a part of our outreach, but also part of our education. And we also emphasize diversity and inclusion. So what you see is our strategy to address K through 12 to public community outreach. And on the left-hand side are the series of events and activities that KT, Chad, and the team is putting together, this being one of them. On the right-hand side is our concerted effort uh, as uh, over the years uh, you've seen uh, to include uh, uh, diverse uh, stakeholders uh, in our activities. And what you see are the series of events. So this uh, particular Amatec uh, Gatan workshop is a, again, uh, is one of our outreach events uh, that uh, the whole team has put together. And I'm very delighted uh, that you are part of it and uh, hopefully I'm told that there is a quiz at the end that uh, all the uh, information that you just glean hopefully will become a, a, a timely uh, when you do the quiz at the end of the day today. So with that, I'll, I'll pass it on to Roberto and Anna and wish you an enjoyable and informative uh, uh, workshop. Uh, please uh, make use of the interaction uh, uh, portals that you see here. And I look forward to learning more about the outcome of this uh, uh, workshop. Uh, thank you, Anna and uh, Roberto. Please proceed. Thank you, Javi. Thank you very much.